Well, hello everyone. Welcome. Welcome to a brand new video. I'm the Analog Kid. Today we're going to be building a brand new city in City Skylines, PlayStation 4 edition. Um, so yeah, first of all, thank you everyone for watching and I hope you enjoy the content of the channel and there will be many more videos to come. Okay. So let's start off selecting the map. Um, we're going to be playing on the Mountain Taper map, which came with uh, the new map pack that was released some time ago. And, you know, I think it's a really nice and well-balanced map. Very console-friendly, because there are other maps that really don't work that, that well with the nine tiles that we as console players are stuck with, you know. So, I think this is a nice map to start off, okay. So, the city name that I chose is Alessa. I really like that name. Um, and we're not going to be playing with any cheats, okay. So... We're going to unlock all the trophies. So yeah, let's start off. And we're finally here. It is so nice when you start a new map. It's really... It's a blank canvas and you can do pretty much anything you want. Um, so yeah, first of all, I always like to see where my cities are going to be you know, where everything is going to be placed and I really think that in this map and as well as I was mentioning since we are only have nine tiles because that's what we have on console I think the smartest way to go would be this, over this side, okay? I, I really am envisioning the downtown near that beachfront over there at the top of the screen and I think you know it gives a nice a nice aesthetic this lake over here we can have some nice bridges and pedestrian paths and metro lines whatnot and you know in comparison to that side you know you have a you know maybe a longer beachfront but I really think it's it's pretty boring really plain whether on this side you have all this and you can have also a nice little lake community over here so I'm thinking this is going to be the direction the city is going to be building okay so having said that we also have uh, train lines over here and the highway so I think this is going to be a nice place for an industrial area over here and we could have a train station, you know, an end line train station right across the um, the lake. You know, I think it's going to be really nice. And maybe on the other side of the lake, we could have like an entertainment uh, facilities, like stadiums and whatnot. So yeah, I think it's it's going to be turn out really nice. But well, we'll get there when we get there. Okay, so. Let's start uh, building just small, small road like that, so we can unlock uh, one-way roads, dirt roads, and larger avenues. Okay. Let's delete that. And since this is pretty much the only entrance to town, really to the to the city. Um, we're going to continue this highway along the city and just so we, you know, people from downtown can have a nice and easy access to the highway, okay? So right now we're going to extend this with a one way road. Uh, maybe 25 tiles like that. I think that's going to be more than enough. Okay. There you go. 
Let's follow this road guideline back to the highway. And we're going to have just a simple roundabout over here. That's pretty much in the center. Maybe over there. Let's try and align this as best as we can. There you go. Yeah, that's, that's very good. That's pretty much. So, okay. First, let's delete this. And we're going to have kind of like an on and off ramp, okay, towards that roundabout. So, we need to lock this roundabout first, like this, with a cross. So, when we connect the, the one-way roads, the roundabout is not going to warp, you know, it's not going to change its its form okay so let's have a one-way road over here and let's follow this road guideline so we're gonna be pretty much parallel to to this uh, to the highway what will be eventually the highway okay like this and let's try and connect that's yeah, pretty much straight road to the roundabout like that then let's repeat the same thing on the other side let's have straight over here so there you go let's see no there you go great let's change the directions over here now let's connect back to the highway like so and let's let's make sure everyone's flowing in the right direction yes okay good now let's delete this part and also that so okay so w what we have right now is just a small roundabout you know f for the entrance of the town on this side, we're going to have already a generic industrial area that will eventually become larger factories and whatnot. And on this side, we'll have residential areas, commercials. And when we unlock trains as well, we can have a nice uh, train station with a park, you know, overviewing the lake. That would be really nice. So let's upgrade this road into a four lane road and let's extend 30 tiles that's going to be more than enough for now let's do the same thing over this side but uh, maybe 20 tiles that's that's fine but you know at the beginning of the game you what you want is to have a positive uh income okay so you can raise a lot of money and then when you have a lot of money in the bank, you can let your creative juices flow, so to speak. So let's start off that grid. I think just 11 tiles will be great. Same over here. Okay, so we have our first grid. Let's extend the same. 11 by 11 there you go let's do the same over this side like that let's do the same thing over this side and let's extend 30 tiles and here really I, I don't really care that much about the size of the grid because as I was saying this this is not going to be a permanent thing really because I really don't like the generic industry to be honest um, let's kill the traffic lights and if you're playing on console you go to the inspector tool and press triangle and you'll you'll see this intersections so you can activate or deactivate 
the traffic lights will have stop signs because we want everyone to yield at least uh, good so we have our basic layout over here and now we need services and those basic services are electricity and water supply as well as sewage okay so for the electricity I like going with um, with uh, wind turbines okay uh, I think they're really nice have a nice aesthetic and they're green they don't pollute that much and they don't cost as much as a coal power plant which also contaminates a lot so so okay this place I think is gonna be the best because as you can see it will pr produce 8 megawatts of, uh, of power that's the thing with wind turbines uh, they will produce more or less power depending on where you place them you know if they have more wind or not okay so here 8 let's have it right there okay then for water um, let's have just one pumping station for the moment okay it's gonna be more than enough and for sewage really uh, I don't want to I don't want to pollute this water really because it's going to be a main feature of the city and it takes some time to to take that pollution out so we'll have uh, an inland water treatment plant uh, this one comes with a Sunset Harbor the DLC if I'm not mistaken so let's place it right there that's that's fine and as you can see it has this little icon that that's indicating that it's not uh, connected to the to the pipeline okay so let's drag a pipe over here from our water supply over there good let's go over there all the way over here and let's connect that's fine and let's extend this over here and same over here okay let's have this one as well good now we need power let's have power line over here good then let's extend this one over here all the way over here that will be I think it's gonna be fine okay so we pretty much have everything set up so yeah let's zone let's have some residents come into town okay like this maybe the first block like this will be all residential okay and we'll have some industry over here okay and let's hit play as you can see we already have some residents coming in and the power already synced through you see that this blue bubble uh, means that all the buildings inside of it have power okay or are connected to the power line actually and yeah oh I forgot to place a power line for the for the water there you go great so yeah now we're really set off to a great start so let's start off by placing some commercial areas let's have a big 4x4 four four over there and the same over here I, I like to specifically zone because you have a bit more control of the of the assets that come in for example this hotel is really nice and it's a nice it's a nice view for an entry you know so we'll keep that and if you want to keep the look of a certain building 
you click on it and you make this as a historical building okay so as as it says right there the building w can still level up but its visual appearance will be preserved okay so that's a nice way to create some aesthetic to the city okay and big bite restaurant yeah sure why not okay then let's have some organical zoning over here and on this side let's have all residential okay and as you can see the industry already is already growing so it means the residents are gonna have some jobs you know I really like beginning a new city because it's it's really nice to see how it evolves over time you know with some patience and you know just it's trial and error really so but it's really nice to see when that city is it's bigger and you can see the the nice skyline you know it's a really fun game really I've been playing City Skylines for a long time and I never get bored of this game. It's it's nuts, but it's it's true. I never get boring bored of this game because you know, it's always a new project, really. So Okay, so we need more residents right now, so let's extend our grid over over to this side. go let's also extend water and sewage pipes and as you can see what we're already making money <laughs> 54 66 70 so yeah we're off to a great start really okay so this means we're having some power issues and yeah as you can see the electricity availability is already in the yellow so let's place another wind turbine let's see when we can get the most out of it seven yeah that's gonna be yeah it's gonna be the the most we can get that should should cut it for now I think let's see yeah, let's upgrade this road into a one-way road, okay? So that way, the trucks, you know, are more organized, you know? They're gonna be, they're gonna follow the same path and, you know, it's a bit more controlled. Let's extend the grid just a bit more just one more block like so good let's have more industry and I think we should extend the pipes oh we're good okay okay so we're having a nice residential demand oh I like that building really let's historical it um, and this one as well. Okay, let's extend this avenue. Okay, just right over here. Maybe at some point we can we can curve this like this. Let's let's do kind of like that. I think it's it's gonna be nice. You know, just to break the pattern uh, just a bit, okay? Good. Let's extend the grid. Like that. And maybe we can have just...
longer blocks, so the grid's not the same, you know? Okay. Let's keep getting residents into the town. Like that. This is all going to be residential as well, so let's leave this gap so when we unlock detailing, you know, the landscaping tools, we can have um, pedestrian paths between the houses, so that will be great, okay? Let's extend the, yeah, pipes. That's going to be more than enough. Good. Let's um, continue our commercial expansion over here. Like so. So right now it's pretty much waiting. Oh, great. Little Hamlet. We've reached our first milestone. We unlocked taxes, loans, garbage and healthcare and education so those are going to be our priorities right now to give the people those services garbage healthcare and education because that way we can attract more citizens and the buildings will eventually level up because they have more services so the land value will be will be higher okay and as there it says new buildings we unlocked a landfill site which is probably the way we're gonna go a medical clinic elementary school recycling center and community school okay let's just pause the game for a minute and let's provide those utilities uh, okay garbage landfill site Okay, I, I think we're going to go with the landfill site because it's cheaper than the recycling center, which costs 16000 That's just too much. Okay, so let's go with the landfill site. Um, then what else? Healthcare and education. Okay, so I'm thinking to to go with elementary school the European one it's nice but I think I'm gonna go with uh, community school okay I think it's a bit more modern looking and it's nice so let's give this its own you know a little little entrance like that okay and we'll have the community school right over there so it's a really nice you know it's not up against the uh, the four lane road you know and then when we unlock um, landscaping we can have pedestrian paths and some some nice trees and whatnot so that will be great good let's keep the simulation going so we can raise a bit more money uh, you know, let's just, let's have that medical clinic here. Right there in the corner. That's nice. That's really nice. Okay. We're pretty much out of power. And we don't have any money, so what we can do is take loan okay loan 20,000 good that's that's great so I think we're gonna go with the coal power plant pretty much because that's gonna give us a lot of power for at least one more milestone Really, the only thing that I don't like about it is that it creates a lot of pollution, but... Yeah. Let's go with the coal power plant, and let's drop it over here for the moment. There you go. So that's going to solve our 
power issues and we won't have to worry about that really there you go let's zone this you know just making sure we can st still continue those roads There you go. There you go. So, right now, all we have to do is wait to get some more money in the bank. Oh, right here we can have more houses. So, that's what we're gonna do. There you go. Let's turn off this traffic light, like that. And now we wait. There you go, Worthy Village. There it is. We're gonna have to um, provide police and fire. Okay. Right now, we don't have enough money for both, so we're gonna just bank up a few more, okay? So, okay, let's extend the grid so we can have more residents. There you go. Good. that they're pretty much covered good this as well the more residents we have the better okay let's continue pipes like so now I think we can let's extend this grid over to this side okay I want to leave a gap behind the school so we can do some detailing with some pathways and something else. Okay. Like that. Yeah, that's going to be enough, I guess. There you go. Oh, so okay, we had our first fire, so we're going to we'll definitely need fire coverage. So let's go like that. I don't. There you go. There it goes. Great. Okay, so let's not waste any more time. Let's continue our expansion. These two lots, I think they are really small as well as this one. So we're gonna have these ones in instead, okay?
water, bring water there. Good. Okay, let's take a second loan. There you go. And let's have a police station. Where could we have a police station? I'm thinking over here. Let's let's go with the police station over here. Yeah, that's that's okay. Yeah. Great, 1500. So we have landscaping, park areas. We have some uh, leisure industry, fishing industry. Oh, great. Parks. This is going to be great. Oh, yeah, pathways, canals, fences, libraries, high school. Yeah. Now we're talking. Okay. So, as I was saying, what I meant with, um, so here is the pathway, the path tools. So, we can have some, let's see, kind of like this, you know. So, it gives pedestrians, you know, more ways to walk around the city, you know, and it gives a nice flair to it. Oops, there. Like so. And as I was saying, we now have access to these ones. So let's see. Let's have like this. Okay. And now we can use some of these trees, which I think are really nice. Let's have one of these over here. Like that. You know. And we can have a nice oak over here. There. We can have some nice flowers. You know, this... This is something that I enjoy and I spend a lot of hours is detailing. So let's remove all of this so we can have more freedom with it there you go you know fences and trees give another look to the city you know let's have a pathway over here let's snap to the grid like that and then like that. Okay. And let's see if we can There you go. Then we can upgrade the pathway. There it is. Great. Yeah, I really like that. Okay, we already have police, fire, and everything covered. Now, let's see if we can have just a you know, small park over here. It's not going to fit. Let's see. Yeah, it's not going to fit. How about we remove that? Let's dezone this. There you go. 
and we connect it with pathways that there you go all the way over there over here how about this side as well there it is so we can also extend this by just putting down some more trees you know And we have some props as well over here that we can add just, you know, just to give it more detailed look. You know, you can have these uh, booths right here. They're nice. You know, just to add some flair to it. That's nice. Okay, so what do we need? more residents commercial areas okay let's continue on let's turn on everything and I'm gonna leave a space between the railroad and and the zoning because Maybe we can have some pathways or some bike infrastructure over there as well. Okay, let's extend this. How much are we talking here? 440. Um, let's see. Let's leave this, this big area over here. Maybe we can have a high school or something like that. Okay. I was thinking, maybe how about we introduce the first neighborhood and let's give it the um, self-sufficient buildings okay and that's gonna give us some really nice looking um, houses let's again leave that space in the middle so we can have that pathway there you go there you go and there you go Let's make sure we have water over here. Let's see. There you go. So as you can see, the buildings are going to be different ones, you know, just a bit more modern, you know. You know, that's they're really nice you can get these with the um, green cities DLC which in my opinion is one of the best ones you can get because they give you so many buildings and policies and whatnot so I think it's a really good buy to be honest it's okay we we are really slowly getting there Okay, let's have more commercial areas over to this side. Maybe we could 
round things up over here. Like that. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Let's... Let's have a high school over here. Okay. We'll go from here. Okay. Like that. Okay. Then we'll have the high school. There you go. Dead center. That's great. And I always like to have um, a basketball court like this. You know, I think it pairs very well with, uh, with the high school. Um, let's having let's have it facing this way, okay? And then we can have let's turn off the guidelines like that. There you go. They complement each other really well, in my opinion. Let's pathway over here so people can cross the street over there. And sink out these ones, but let's leave those oaks over there. They're really nice. Did we unlock new roads? I can't remember. No. No, we don't have those yet. So that's fine. Let's. Let's continue. There it is. Let's have just a row of bushes. Like that. Oops. There it is. You know, it's very hard to do this with a joystick, but it is what it is. And I feel it needs something in the middle. Kind of liking this right here. Yeah. Let's remove these for a while. There's maybe there's a stone beneath that road. That's why it didn't let me. Yeah, that's nice. I like that better. And how about we make just a small little district over here? and have it to be local and organic produce then we can have that over there that's great okay let's take that traffic light out let's have a splash of commercial over there there you go Okay, great. So I think we're going to leave it there, guys. Um, we started the city. Have some grids going. We already have some more plans for expansion over to this side. Um, next episode, I think we're going to, if, if money allow us to, we're going to buy another tile and maybe have some more some more fun with industries maybe you know forestry or maybe some farming I don't know but we'll get there um, so yeah I hope you enjoyed this episode uh, I really appreciate it thank you for watching and yeah I'll see you on the next one goodbye